All right, well, we didn't see much snow today as a lot of that was way far south here into the southern portions of the state. And it looks like we'll have another dis another disturbance come in, but that will push off to the south as well. Uh, generally sunny throughout most of the UP throughout the afternoon, and we'll see more of those partially clear conditions as we head into the overnight as temperatures drop pretty quickly for us again. But we have seen a lot of sun, and right now we are at 21 degrees in Marquette, and winds are calm. So that makes things feel a little better when you have the calm winds and the sunny conditions. Temperatures, if they are this cool, I uh, don't really feel quite as bad. And as we take a look at temperatures across um, the entire UP, we are seeing more of the similar conditions as you go off to the west here. Austin at 22, 21 in Ironwood and more of the lower 20s in Crystal Falls, Florence and in Menominee, middle 20s in Houghton. And for us off to the east, well, actually a few upper teens in Munising and in Manistique, both at 19 degrees, 21 at Escanaba here in Ishpeming. We are at 21 and all the way over into the Sioux here. They are at 11 degrees. That cool, that cool air is pretty much situated a little farther off to the east, and you'll see that coming up here in the next graphic, but winds have been calm for a lot of us here in Houghton, uh, Iron Mountain, and in Marquette, all at zero. Six here from the north West in Ironwood and seeing a light wind immunizing at one mile per hour and three in Escanaba. But here is the graphic that's going to show you where that cool air is situated right here across eastern upper and northeastern lower as they are seeing more of the teens. But for us, more of the low to mid 20s. And tomorrow it looks to get even warmer for us and we won't have to deal with quite as chilly wind chills as we are right now. 17 in Escanaba, 11 in Mackinac City, and at 6 in Sault Ste. Marie. It looks like a lot of us will be in the 20s for our wind chills as we go throughout the afternoon on. Wednesday. Here is your look at your uh, weather headlines. Quiet and cold as we go throughout tonight and tomorrow temperatures actually warming above average as we will reach the mid and upper 20s for afternoon highs, but not much snow to talk about over the next few days as many of the disturbances will either be to our south or will be to our north into Canada and maybe a slight chance of a flake or two, but I uh, don't expect that to have any huge impacts whatsoever at all or not even be much of a factor in the forecast as that will get out of here pretty quickly. And here's a look at our setup. Uh, we will see another disturbance push off to our south as skies remain partially cloudy as we head into Wednesday and uh, for us tomorrow we'll forecast and then we'll continue to see uh, this mix of clouds as we go into tomorrow night and see temperatures drop off into the lower teens. For tonight, it will drop down to 9 degrees, so more clouds and uh, more cold, cold on the way for us as winds will be calm for your Wednesday. In a normal January afternoon, north-northeast winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And actually, temperatures are going to be just a tad above average. 27 in Launce, 28 for your high in Crystal Falls, and we'll call for 28 in Marquette and 25 in Manistee. Here's a look at your bus stop forecast. We'll see temperatures around the upper single digits and the lower teens, and you could be looking out for a few areas of frost on your wind windshields if you're going to be driving tomorrow morning as we will have that fault frost really build up on the windshields. Winds are expected to be calm for us and here's a look at your seven day forecast. Highs upper 20s on Wednesday and Thursday could even reach the 30s by Friday with another disturbance coming in bringing chances of snow not only on Friday but even as we head into the weekend.